Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Titan del 86. Here you will find everything from your favorite characters, from anime, series, or movies, such as figures, statues, trading cards, and other limited special edition items. I will show you everything that is included. For example, we will discuss the design of the box, how it's packaged, the design of the figure, the articulation points, the accessories that are included, and we will see our favorite characters in special scenes, and you never know, you might see other characters make special guest appearances, so you can decide whether it's worth getting or not. Subscribe and join me on new weekly adventures. Now let's start the show, let's go. Welcome to my channel, my name is Titan del 86 and for today from Dragon Ball Super I present to you Broly in its SH figure arts form from the movie Superhero. And it was a Tamashi Nations web exclusive release, therefore it comes in the brown box. Looking at the front of the box, you can see the figure of Broly. Again, this is a massive figure in the Dragon Ball world. And you could also see the expressions that come with them right through the window. It also appears to come with three other hand gestures as well as the Gohan hair to make ultimate Gohan. On the rear of the box, you see Broly doing several action poses showing you all the different actions that he could do as well as the different expressions. Then on the side you have some more close up shots of them. This is the content that comes with Broly. You get 3 additional expressions, 2 additional hand gestures and possibly an extra one. So I guess we're going to have an odd number. And then you also get Ultimate Gohan's hair. Not a lot of stuff to go by. They didn't really give you much, they just basically gave you the minimal. The figure does come with instructions, but the instructions are on the sides of the box. So you don't get the little loose piece of paper like we do on some of the other figures. As usual, this is the 360 of Broly straight out of the box. The body design is very similar to the one that we saw early on on this channel when he was the Super Saiyan, released with the special green pearlescent pearl paint job. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. The thing around his belt is a very soft plastic. Don't forget to follow me on IG at titandel86. Here's a side by side comparison between Broly and Super Saiyan Broly. So you can see the differences as well as the different paint jobs between the pearlescent paint versus the regular version. Let me know in the comments which Broly looks better to you. For the most part, both figures are almost identical. The only key difference is here is that Super Saiyan Broly is a little bit more beefier and a little bit taller. Besides the Super Saiyan Broly wearing the armor and the regular Broly not wearing anything. As far as the character design goes from the waist down, they're almost identical. They both have the same design of the fur going around the waist as well as the uniform. Now let's check out some of the articulation points that come with this Broly. So starting with the head, you have the basic head movements along as the neck rotational points. The arm. This is as high as you can get it. Low and then it also comes with the ability to extend. So this is as much forward as you will get it, right there, this is as far back as it goes. 
He does give you 360. You could probably get some movement out of here as well from the bicep. This is as much as you get from the elbow because his arms are really beefy. You get 360 out of the wrist. The only thing is you're not going to be able to fully move it up and down because this little piece of armor blocks the movement. You do get some very good chest movement. Even the chest rotates. I don't think I've seen an SH figure else that give you this type of movement. But no abdominal. This is as far as you can get it. This is as far as you can get the leg to go up. This is as far back as it goes. You get a lot of good leg range. You also has the ability to rotate. You're limited by the green fur on, on how far you can open the legs. This is as much as you're going to get out of the knee. Not a whole lot there. The foot. And this is as low as you can get it. And that's as high as it will go. The toes. You get a little bit of side movement. And there's our Broly. Below are the four expressions that come with Broly. First one you have an action expression where he's grinting. The next one is another action expression where he's yelling. Followed by the one where he's crying. And finally the last one is the regular normal expression. So overall you do get somewhat of a dynamic of the different expressions that you can do with them. So that is good on this end. In this scene I have Broly with the grinning teeth expression. Here he is ready to counter attack. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. He is slowly gauging his opponent. He's in the stage where he's about to use an energy blast. Let me know in the comments what are you thinking about this SH figure art Broly. Don't forget to follow me on IG at Titandel86. I do. Big mistake! <laughs> In this scene, I have Broly with the action expression where he is trying to become a Super Saiyan. This is the scene where Goku was training him to become a Super Saiyan but at the same time being able to fully control it. Overall the figure is done pretty well. I haven't seen too much stuff that I can complain on especially on the quality side. It's a very solid figure. The one thing I would have liked was for him to have more articulation on the feet because you really can't do any fully dynamic poses that would involve him planning on the ground where you can kind of counterbalance the figure by moving the toes 
or the, the foot around at a certain angle. So it becomes really hard to stabilize if you're trying to go for those super ultra dynamic poses. So that is one area I would love to have seen improved on this figure. Just looking at the figure in general of what they gave them and just seeing how much impact he had in the movie, you can kind of see that he was more of a filler just to give an excuse of what Vegeta and Goku were doing. So that's why they weren't able to go and help Gohan and Piccolo when Pan was kidnapped. So just like that, the figure also reflects the same thing. He doesn't have that many accessories that come with it. So he is very basic in that point. There's no energy, auras, or anything to accompany him. You are able to do a lot of dynamic poses with him. In this scene, I have Broly with the regular, normal expression. And I'm using the special hand gesture that came with the figure, where he is given the OK sign. This shows that he's learning and making progress. One thing to note as well, I'm using the normal stance that usually come with these figures. But again, Broly is a big boy, so to post him doing air moves and all that stuff, you probably want a stronger stand. One that is more of a heavy duty type, since depending on how high and what angle you're looking for, the bolts and the screws on the stand might not be able to be strong enough to hold them. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. Don't forget to follow me on IG at Titandel86. Overall, this is a good figure to have in a collection, especially if you are a big Broly fan. But if you had a choice between this and the Super Saiyan version, I would just say just go with the Super Saiyan. You're not going to miss anything special by not having this one in your collection. Unless you're box checking to have a Broly with regular hair, then I suggest you get this one and go for it. By the way, thanks for the help earlier. Yeah, I get it. You must be thirsty. In this scene, I have the three full-blooded Saiyan warriors eating. Do you remember this was the Goku set that came out a while ago? So this is basically what that set has. It has a lot of empty dishes, it has some drinks, as well as some food. And it comes in with some chairs and this beautiful red and black table. It looks really nice actually. If you're a big fan of decorating and doing these type of sceneries, I strongly recommend you get it. It always helps when trying to create special backgrounds with the characters. Also in this particular dinner set, Goku comes with three special hands that allow him to grab the food as well as the chopsticks. It also comes with a fork actually. And it also comes with this exclusive face expression where his mouth is full of food. But anyways, back to the scene here. You can see Goku stuffing his face as usual and he is getting into it with Vegeta because Goku here is very greedy. You can see all the plates he ate already and Vegeta is all mad at Goku for trying to go for even more food knowing how greedy he is. Basically calling Goku out for his greediness when it comes to food. You could basically picture Vegeta's voice right now just yelling at Goku. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel and share the video. Broly on the side has got the crying expression because he ran out of his drink and he still has food to eat so he doesn't know what to do. Such a such a hard dilemma here. Since the food was letting out a nice aura, you could see Majin Buu there peeking out the scene trying to see what's going on because that boy can eat as well. Follow me on Instagram at titandel86. Let me know in the comments what you think about these three amazing Saiyans. To me, if you're trying to pick a Broly between this one and the Super Saiyan one, I would just say go for the Super Saiyan version. Especially the one with the pearl paint job. 
that one to me is one of the best Broly's out there that I've seen. So this one makes better sense if you just have to have all the different iterations of Broly or even if you just want a version without him being Super Saiyan. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. Don't forget to follow me on IG at TitanDel86. All three of these Saiyans were featured in the movie Superhero. And they also had an eating scene because, as you know, Saiyans love to eat. This is all I have for you today. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. And I will see you with a brand new one next week. Thank you, and bye.